Richard Leacock most of the time. The new news reporting potential of the mobile camera, the sync sound, was electrifying. And we had a whole bunch of rules. We were shooting handheld, no tripods, no lights, no questions, never ask anybody to do anything. So along came this guy, Roger Tilton, who I didn't know from Adam, and said he wanted to film young people dancing in a hall in New York. Everyone had told him the only way to do this is with the big cameras, the big sound machines, and clapsticks and the whole thing. And he said no. I'll never forget that night. I fell in love 20 times. It was wild. I was standing on tables, jumping around on the floor, all over the place. Just shooting, shooting, shooting. And it was freedom. Screw the tripod. Screw the dollies. Screw all the stuff. You can move. And once you start shooting with things out, it's very different. And in a sense, much more complicated. You don't have this freedom of doing what you did yesterday, mixing with this, with that, the other thing. Okay, this is Bob Drew, clap six. It was my idea that television journalism should uh, be more human and spontaneous and more involving. And I'd made a film for NBC and Time Inc. Magazine X. I'm standing on the bank of the first taconite mine in the North Country. After this I'd made it, I didn't like it. There was something wrong with it. Uh, 14 miles. It shouldn't have taken a year at Harvard to figure this out, but the reason my program was dull, and the reason all documentaries were dull, basically, mostly, is that they were lectures. That is, they were lectures with picture illustrations <coughs> or interviews, which is the same thing, that real life never got out of the film, never came through the television set, and that uh, we would have to drop word logic and find a dramatic logic in which things really happen. If we could do that, we'd have a whole new basis for a whole new journalism, which, which is kind of hard to define, but I'll try. Yeah, it would be a theater without actors, it would be plays without playwrights. It would be reporting without, uh, without summary and opinion. It would, be, uh, it would be the ability to look in on people's lives at crucial times from which you could deduce certain things and see and, uh, a kind of truth that uh, can only be gotten by personal experience. In order to do that, I would have to re-engineer the equipment of filmmaking to make it lighter and small enough that it could be portable. The cinema verite revolution now began to take off. Bob Drew set up his own production company and hired the best talent he could find. Together, they created a new form of documentary. It took about a year to get that film equipment usable. And when it was finally usable, we, we could go out as a two-man team well, cameraman and a producer or correspondent, which I was, and cover a story. And I had to pick the first story. And the first story I picked was a young senator running for president in Wisconsin. It turned out to be Primary. And Primary turned out to be a film that uh, changed everything in the filmmaking. Leacock and I were in a car with Kennedy and our new little camera rig. <clears throat> Kennedy jumped out of the car, 
ran across the sidewalk and into a building and sat down before a photographer who carefully arranged his cuff and so forth to shoot a picture of him. Intertwine the fingers a little. There, that's it, we got the whole sequence on film from beginning to end, characters and action and everything in between. And uh, we didn't have to say anything. That time is smile yet, We just knew we'd, we'd done something historic. I was na naive enough to think that there must be a small camera that would easily take sync sound and be quiet and all that. But it took a million dollars of Drew's money that he got from time in life to develop that kind of equipment that would make it possible to carry a, a camera on your shoulder. And uh, the camera would be quiet, the sound would be of excellent quality, it would be in sync with the picture. You could um, let the story tell itself. That was the revolution that uh, got us all excited.